Alright, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. Alright, y'all see what's going on here. As y'all see the thumbnail, y'all read the title under the thumbnail. This is dealing with you guys. Or should I say the PRE out? Whom is Yo Gotti? So yeah, check this out. Special Agents Unit discover Yo Gotti niece. Yeah, y'all heard me right. Yo Gotti niece dispatched Young Dolph Makita's call. The whole setup that Big Juke paid for. You understand what I'm saying? See, I let you guys know from the beginning. Or not only me, a lot of other people who really want justice for Young Dolph. Trying to let y'all know it's certain people hands that side to this that we know who got the bag to pay the people off. Or already had a proper people in position. Even before the whole Young Dolph Makita's situation even went off. Before we get into it, let's pay our respects and say rest in peace to Young Dolph. Condolences to the family. And much love to all my folks in Dolph Land. So yeah, even my folks in Dolph Land, they know. They know how Yo Gotti got people that's on the size of that's on the side of the Memphis PD and got a niece that does dispatch. See, what's going on here is, like I said, man, the guys who are the main chess players. You got Big Juke, his brother Yo Gotti, the niece. And CEO Daddy O. See, a lot of people want to know how was CEO Daddy O involved if you just said Big Juke and Yo Gotti and Yo Gotti niece. Well, check this out. See, Big Juke paid for it. He paid for Makita's. He gave Makita's name the bag. You understand? See, y'all got to understand that Big Juke, he gave Makita's Raven. He gave Raven the bag. You understand? See, I told you guys before that Big Juke been new Raven. Long time. They've been had history. So at the same time, while Big Juke is paying Raven in order to get Young Dolph there, guess what? CEO Daddy O, he paying for the guys with the blickies. Again, you gotta have money. And you gotta have people who ain't got no problem doing as you say. When it's dealing with, they know a bag is coming at the end of the day. You dig what I'm saying? So yeah, man, check this out. You got some people who feel like, who who would want to do Young Dolph like this? But then you got guys out there that's no. Even, even Young Dolph knew. See, I want y'all to go back and listen to Young Dolph song, Talking to My Scale. He really said in that whole song. Not only listen to the song, go see the video. Check out the video. I know, I know y'all did already a thousand times. But really see where I'm coming from when I say, look at Young Dolph's message. Look at his delivery. You know what I'm saying? He's saying it like with so much emphasis on that he knows something is going to go on. So not only is he talking to his family, his loved ones, relatives, he's also talking to the PRE artists. You know what I'm saying? You could tell. So that let a lot of people know that Young Dolph even knew what was going, what was going on. He knew it was people around him that was faking, that was faking like they had love for him, but they was playing both sides. Like I said, Young Dolph even said in that song. Y'all just go back in here, listen to it, and feel it, man. It's really real. So, at the same time, Young Dolph even knew that it only had to be with somebody with money who's able to make these connections and had guys flip sides for the bag. Young Dolph knew that. And it's messed up. Because like I said, man, when you the one that helped these guys get their first bag, get their first hundred thousand, see their first million... You know what I'm saying? Go on tours. Not only that, help other people in the communities. You know what I'm saying? Make money. But like I said, at the same time, we know that there were some people who had jealousy and envy. That instead of trying to take heed to the knowledge that he was trying to get them and really create their own thing like he did. And see, he was trying to let them know, like, yeah, I'm the example. Like, I took all... I took all the BS, everything y'all not going to take. I took it already for y'all not to go that route. I already know what y'all should do, but I ain't going to tell y'all what y'all should do. I'm going to make that y'all decision. But I'm basically going to give y'all the knowledge to make the best decisions. Because I know how people going to try to play y'all in this game. So like I said, while Young Dolph is giving these guys that game, on the other end, 
you got somebody in their ear giving them the bag that's telling them, yeah, drop Young Dolph location. Let us know what he going to do next. Blah, 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 skippy woo. You understand? So like I said, man, we all know that it had to be somebody who was close to Young Dolph and also some guys we know that was Young Dolph ops. Let's keep it real here. And all they did was sit, have a conversation and see how they both can win. And look at, see, look what you got going on here. But again, this video was based on the special agent unit. Discover your Gotti niece. Yeah, man. Your Gotti niece. This special young Dolph Makita's phone call. The whole setup that Big Jook paid for, man. See, I told y'all, man. Even we knew. See, a lot of people know if they know the history of young Dolph, how Big Jook, he really had it out for young Dolph. So at the same time, that's the reason why he's really playing behind the shadows. Right along with CEO Daddy O, man. I'm telling y'all, man, they done already paid the people off to do what they did. And they off somewhere. They probably in a whole nother country. While you got the pawns, the send-offs like the straight drops and the Cornelia Smiths and all the other alleged suspects that they saying is involved with the whole Young Dolph McKee's setup. But we know that ain't that. We know that ain't them. Like I said, man, we know what's going on here. And... At the same time, they trying to make sure that they suppress what we trying to put out there. They don't really want us talking about it like that. They really want people, you know what I'm saying, to slide off in the dark and not even really talk about the whole Young Dolph setup no more, man. But they don't know. It's a lot of people that got, it's a lot of people that got love for Young Dolph and they want justice for Young Dolph family, his fans, supporters, all that, man. For the guys, for the folks in Castalia, you know what I'm saying? Like it's real talk, cause like I said, man, it, it really hit a certain mark when Young Dolph was set up, man. It really messed up a lot of families, man. Cause like I said, he was the guy that was supporting. You know what I'm saying? And he ain't had no problem doing it because he knew other ways to make the money. And also, like I said, he knew how to include other guys to make money for themselves and they could be a service for him. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, you got some guys who he may have chose to be a service for him who was also on the side of getting a bag from CEO Daddy O. Let's keep it real here. Especially when they feeling like, oh man, I could get this big lump sum in one whop. See, I'm trying to let y'all know, man, that Yo Gotti, his brother Big Juk, come on, man, got a niece that does dispatch and then you got some guys on the side of the Memphis PD you could pay off or that's associated to you through family connections. Come on, man. See, a lot of people don't understand how you already got the plan already mapped out. And not only that, you got the proper people in position. Especially when you have somebody like CEO Daddy O that's supposed to be Young Dolph Homeboy. That's supposed to be one of Young Dolph Riders. You know what I'm saying? Supposed to be an op of CMG. But no, nah, man, you ain't no op when it come to money. If the plan sound good and if it, and if the guys is with it and you got people who you know you can call to make things happen as well, this what you're going to get. Like I said, you're going to get a bunch of people who standing around Young Dolph who acting like they got love for him, who acting like they going to ride for him. But they can't wait for him to slip for that bag, man. It's messed up out here because like I said, man, like I said, man, when Young Dolph was that person to help these guys get their first hundred thousand, you know what I'm saying? Sell out shows and do tours and all that, man. Go to country and state to state. Come on, man. Do a lot of things they would have never did. But Young Dolph gave these guys that chance. And like I said, Young Dolph knew that he knew the people who was going to ride for him. He knew the people who was part of PRE who got love for him. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, just go back and listen to that song, Talking to My Skill, man. He's really telling us what's really going to go on, man. I don't think a lot of people really feel that to that magnitude. But like I said, every time I hear it, I'm like, man, he mentioning some guys that's part of PRE that he know won't be removed. And he's also miss mentioning some guys that's part of PRE that he know that arrived for him. And at the same time, he's also mentioning that he knows ops trying to get him out the way. 
but he trying to let them know it ain't going to be that easy. But yeah, man, y'all just pay attention. What's going on here? We're going to keep y'all updated with more. But as always, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.